First things first, welcome in or welcome back to the channel. My name is Grin, and I hope that you are having a wonderful day. This is going to be episode two in my Maxing the Main series, a series where we go around increasing all of our levels in sets of five. By that, I mean getting from like getting base 85s, then base 90s, 95s, etc., until we eventually max the account. Uh, for those of you, you might have already noticed that uh, this video is two weeks from the first episode in it. And that is because, unfortunately, with uh, working a normal full time job, I am unable to sustainably play for like 60 hours a week. So, uh, with some of these slower uh, skills like fishing and mining, I'm going to need two weeks to, you know, maybe play 25 hours or 30 hours each week to try to get some of these skills up. I think it's just healthy for the future of the series. This way I don't get burnt out just grinding crazy hours each week. So with that out of the way, make sure to stay tuned at the end of the video. I do have a little surprise for those who have stayed and watched. Uh, but other than that, I hope you enjoy the video. All right, we are only a couple fish away from getting the first level of the video, which will be at level 82 fishing. Pretty excited for this one to come in. One more fish, one more fish of any kind. There it is. That's level 82 fishing. We're going to get this one to 85 and then go on to another skill. We are about to come in with the second fishing level of the video. Just got to catch one more fish. 31 XP. Come on, any fish will do. There we go. So we just got 83 fishing and... Between getting from 82 to 83, I did manage to get a medium clue scroll from a medium clue bottle. So we're going to go take care of this and then get back to some more fishing. I did manage to finish the medium clue scroll, but we also have a hard and an elite. I'm going to start stacking these up so that in the future we can do a uh, reward casket opening video. I was not able to record this moment because I was AFKing barbarian fishing on mobile. But I uh, did manage to take a screenshot of it so I can still include it in the video. We just got 84 fishing. We are yet again just one fish away from getting to our next fishing level. That makes 85 fishing. Done. So for those who are fresh to the series, uh, the whole plan of it is to go up and get uh, base levels in five. So what I mean by that is... I'm going to increase all of my levels until I have base 85s. And then I'm going to go around and increase everything until I have base 90s. So now that we have gotten 85 fishing, we are currently done with fishing for now. And we're going to move on to another skill to try to get some more 85s. So I think right now the next one we're going to go do is another slow one. Try to knock out some of the slow ones so that we can get like some levels flowing in quick once we get to move on to some of the faster ones. Like maybe smithing and then... Uh, fletching super fast, crafting is super fast, and even hunter is really fast. So we'll try to get some more of these slow ones out of the way. I know I also have rune crafting, which is really slow, but we're going to work on those next. The next one I did decide to go for is mining because we are really close to level 81 mining, you know, probably, you know, a little under an hour here. I am deciding to do it at the mother load mine because it lets me do some other things like I run a weekly D&D campaign so I can work on that on the side while I'm also mining. And another thing I meant to mention in the last clip, maybe one of the ones before that is I decided to switch to a fixed classic layout while also using the GPU plugin to try to get some more of that nostalgia feel with uh, taking up more of the screen plus. In my personal opinion, I think it looks a little bit better, although I do understand the appeal of the um, resizable classic. I totally get that, but uh, I will pop back in when we get to 81 Mining. I somehow managed to miss it, but we did just get 81 Mining. You can see it here in the chat. Okay, so I decided to send a 260. It is my 60th normal raid at the Tombs of a Masket because I'm working my way up to 300 difficulty. want to get some expert modes done. And this is my collection log over at the Tombs of a Man. So I have seven entries, 60 normals, and I have gotten uh, two out of the three jewels and the Masori Mask. But this is my second ever purple, and I'm very excited to see what it is. I don't care what it is. I'm just hoping it's not the ring or the ward, although I'm sure those are more common. I don't quite know the drop rates off the top of my head, but let's find out. All right, what's it going to be? Apollo, give me luck. Apollo's my cat, by the way. 
Apollo, give me luck. Give me luck. What is it? What is it going to be? Ah, it's the ward. No. <laughs> no. Dang it. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, how much is that even worth right now? Ah, uh, feels bad. Ah, uh, not even four mil. Uh, oh, well. It's a purple, so I guess I'll take it. You know, you gotta get, you gotta get them, right? It's another collection log slot. This is your friendly reminder to do your weekly tiers of Guthix so that you can get some free XP. Oh no, go back to the one that's more time. And you get free XP. For those who don't know, you just collect tiers to fill this like bowl up after talking to Juna or Yuna, whatever you want to call her. And then you get some XP in whatever your lowest level skill is. So for me, it was actually fletching. So you can see that fletching, smithing, and crafting are, and agility are actually all the same level. But when there are skills that are the same level, it actually goes by the amount of XP you have in those skills. So fletching of those four levels must have been my skill that had the least XP. But yeah, definitely, definitely worth it. I mean, it took like a minute and a half and I got over 10k XP for it. All right, I was working on mining. As you can see, we're over halfway to level 82, and I do still plan to get level 82 before this video comes out, but the clan I'm in is doing a fire-making skill of the week, and I'm at 82 right now, and I gotta get this to 85 before we can move on to, you know, getting the rest of the skills that I have between level 85 and 90 to 90. Uh, so I figured I might as well hit up some Winter Todd, do some of that now, and get this to 85. One more thing before we hop into the fire making grind. The only pyromancer pieces I have are the hood, the garb, and the warm gloves. So hopefully we can get some more of those. I think I am going to save up the crates until we get to 85 and then we can open them, but it really depends. Maybe I'll save them until I get to 83 and then I'll open all of those and then save them from 83 to 84 and then open all of those so that we get like a couple small openings in the video, but we'll see how it goes. We'll see how I feel. This last game of Winter Todd is going to get us to 83 fire making so that I, oh yeah, because I'll be getting 8200 XP once the round finishes. But I have ran out of food and only have 40 hit points left. And I'm already at 955 points, so I might just go until I get over a thousand so I get a little bit more loot potential and then. Once we get the level, we will open up these seven crates. I was kind of just hanging out waiting for the round to end to get me to level 83 because I only need uh, 551 more XP. But the Winter Todd's energy started going up, so we are actually going to burn a couple more logs and just get the level that way instead of waiting for the end of the round. All right, that is 83 fire making, so I'll see you guys again once this round ends, and then I can open up the seven crates I got. All right, so the round did end, and we did get our seventh supply crate, which is this one here, but it is the one that has the most reward potential out of all of the crates I got from that level. So we're going to save that one till last. So it should be this one here now. All right, first chest, our first crate. Again, to repeat, all I got is the warm gloves, the pyromancer garb, and the pyromancer hood. So we'll see if I can get anything else. I think for the first one. 13 magic logs, but nothing from the second one. Three. Luck. Oh, Pyromancer robe. Let's go. Nice. So now I got another piece of it. Let's go. So what do I have left, actually? I should probably check that. I'm assuming it's in here. Uh, I guess not. Is it really? I guess it's considered a boss. Yeah. So all I have left are the boots, the Bruma torch, and then also the Tome of Fire and the pet. But I would really just be happy with getting the boots and the torch. But let's see, three left. Oh, nothing in the back-to-back -back chests. Oh my God, we got another one. Let's go, the boots. Hell yes. All right, so now all we need left is the Bruma Torch, and then we'll have like the full completed set. So last chest, can we get the back to back? And nothing, but I will take that. That is so nice. We got two more of the pieces from those from those uh, chests. We got the uh, robe and the boots. Hell yes. All right, so you can see in the uh, all chat, I guess if I switch to the game chat, you can see as well, I do have level 84 
uh, fire making. So we are going to get the rest of the supply crates out of the bank. I think we have eight in here. Sure. Uh, yes, eight. So that leaves us 12 crates to open. That's all the crates I've gotten from level 83 to 84. So just to recap for those that are tuning in now, uh, all we have left now, actually, apparently I've gotten a dupe of the warm gloves and didn't know, but, um, all we need now is the Bruma Torch and the Tome of Fire and the Phoenix Pet itself. So let's uh, open these up and see what we can get. All right, first one. <laughs> Salt Peter and some diamonds. Oh, boy. And nothing interesting yet. Let's see here. I don't mind getting mahogany logs. Oh, more another dupe of the warm gloves. That is so unfortunate. Uh, raw sword fish more salt peter. All right, four more to go. Three, two, and last one. And no luck. Just realized I'm being an idiot and I have two more crates to open. I don't know how I skipped these ones. So, one and one more, and still nothing. All right, so we did just manage to get 85 fire making. That leaves us with six supply crates in the inventory and i do have a bunch more in the bank so we'll go get those and then open them up getting from level 84 fire making to 85 did get us 13 supply crates so let's see if we can get any new items we still need the bruma torch as well as the tome of fire and we also don't have the phoenix but i do believe we actually have everything else so let's see if we can get something first one nothing mahogany logs i don't mind those See ha and sharks. Two snapdragon seeds. That's actually pretty cool. Dynamite, dwarf weeds, sapphires, more ma. What was that? Okay, no, it's tuna. I accidentally opened that one. Two renars. Coins. Oh, a dupe pyromancer garb. We already do have that one, but that's still another piece. So, I mean, I guess it's something. No back to back. Two lanty dimes, with four diamonds, more tuna and some coins. And the last one did, did get us some watermelon seeds. <laughs> All right, I think we are going to turn in this uh, pyromancer garb for a another piece. Let's see here. All right, should I turn it in for burnt page? I'm just going to turn it in for a crate, I guess. Pyromancer. All right, let's see what this crate gets us and five heartlanders rip all right so i did mention in the intro that we were going to be having something special happen at the end of the video and that thing is we are going to be giving away one old school bond so all you have to do to be eligible to win the bond is to like subscribe and leave a comment on the video um if you do that you will be entered into the raffle to win the bond and you will find out before the next video comes out because i'll shoot you a message and we can actually record you getting the bond and put it in the next video uh other than that we did manage to get four fishing levels one mine almost two mining levels and three fire making levels in the video i wish it was more but just the four fishing levels alone took like 26 or 28 hours and then Getting the mining XP I did get took like another six or seven hours, and then we're like four hours into uh, Winter Todd at fire or fire making at Winter Todd. So, you know, I can only do so much uh, hour wise. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you have a good rest of your day.